Hi guys, welcome back. This is Alex with Junkin Disorderly and I am a full-time reseller online. And I have another huge collective thrift haul for y'all today. So if you like reseller related content, please stick around. Let's get into it. I have a lot of collective stuff here from the last week. Um, I think from, yeah, from last week up until today, which is Friday. So I'm just going to start pulling from all sides and I'm just going to start showing y'all. So I have um, a lot of jewelry here. Let me grab it. Okay, so I have a lot of jewelry here um, from a garage sale. Actually, some of these, some of these pieces are from garage sales and some of them are from a thrift store. So I'll just let y'all know which ones I got from a garage sale. So I got these, they're already in a bag, but let's see, these Kendra Scott earrings. They're like a glass, if this will not be so glary. <laughs> it's like a glass um, disc earring. And these I actually got at a garage sale. They were only $3 with a bunch of sterling silver jewelry that I'm about to show y'all too. It was kind of a crazy um, a crazy garage sale. I, I pulled up and I didn't see that they had a whole lot and it looked like they were kind of packing up. But I was like, well, since I'm already here, I might as well just stop and see what's inside the garage. So I stop, me and my daughter get out and we go in and they have just like um, a bunch of puzzles. I wasn't interested in that. Um, some clothing, but it, it wasn't that good. And then I go inside the garage and there's this huge bucket of like um, Native American or Navajo sterling silver jewelry. And I was just like surprised. I was like, there are so many pieces there and those Kendra Scott earrings. And, um, I was grabbing them and I started looking that they were sterling silver and then the lady came up and she was like, yeah, all that is sterling silver. Um, and uh, my friend just gave it to me or something to sell and I was like, okay, cool. I think I might buy all of it. How much are you asking? And she was like, um, well, let me see here. And then she started counting and then she was like, I'll do $3 a piece. And I was like, wow, yeah, I'll take it all. $3 a piece for some sterling silver um, jewelry, yeah. Why not? So the first, I, the first um, ring is, let's see, maybe if I put it on, is this, I guess it's like a quartz stone. And this one doesn't actually have like 925 on it, but I do think it is sterling silver and it has like this rope band. Hopefully it's focusing. Um, yeah, so this was a really pretty ring and I think she gave this one to me and a couple of other ones that look similar to this all for $3. So these three rings for $3, which is still a good deal. So yeah, that one is really pretty. This um, turquoise stone ring, it has turquoise uh, stones all around it. And this actually does have a brand name of Bars or Studio Bars. And this one does say 925. And I actually just sold this one. This one just sold for $65. Um, and I was actually planning on keeping that one, but that was the first one to sell. Um, let's see, and I got these stacking rings. She sold to me also all of these. Let me see, I think, yeah, all of these in a lot for $3, which is, crazy because these are all uh different stones so let's see we have i think this blue one is lapis lapis i can't remember what the other name but it's like a lapis stone this is i believe is a coral stone we got turquoise and then we got the green one which is uh jade or jasper i think it's jade so yeah we got all three all these are four rings right here all sterling silver stacking rings for $3 for the lot. And I actually think I'm gonna keep these. And then we have these other set of stacking rings that are the studio bars. So we have um, a coral stone and a turquoise stone. And these are also stacking rings right here for $3 for both. Hopefully it's focusing. And I think I might keep these also. <laughs> so we have those. 
let me see here. So this, these, um, let me just show y'all all the rings that I got from that lady first. So let's see. I got this, um, I believe this one is all, oh no, this one is Jade, I think. Jade, sterling silver ring, three stones. I really hope this is focusing. Um, then we got this huge one. I think, yeah, this one's also the Studio Bars, which is a cluster ring, turquoise with all the coral in there. And this one's like a thicker band. This one's really pretty. I just want to keep all of the rings because they're so pretty. Um, and then we have this star sterling silver ring. Oh gosh. This one does. Here's what I found. Oh my gosh. Why? Why Siri? Why? This one does have like a name in it. Like a, what is it called? Like a signature or something inside, but I can't read. What does it say? So the star. We have this multi-stone ring. Let's see, multi-stone ring. Really pretty with all those different types of stones in there. Really pretty. Um, yeah. And this one has like a hammered band. It's really pretty. Maybe it'll show like this. Yeah, there we go. Another multi-stone ring. Actually, the multi-stone ring, let me see. No, that one just says 925. This one's also 925. Uh, multi-stone ring. It's also like a thicker band. I'm telling y'all, this was a crazy garage sale. I got all her jewelry. Here's another. Um, I can't remember what the name of this one's called. Maybe this one's also turquoise. I can't. Or maybe there was another another name for the stone, but it's a green one, really pretty. And all of these are about the same size. Um, I think there was a couple that were size six, uh, the, but the majority of them are a size seven and eight. And here's another one of those rope band rings, like the other one I showed y'all the first one. It's a turquoise stone, really pretty. Here's a row, I can't remember what this is, a row to write or something. There's a little pink stone, really cool, thick band. Let's see. Here's a, I think this one's like a Celtic ring with the black onyx in there. Pretty cool. All of these are sterling silver. Here's a pink stone ring. Hopefully that's focusing because I cannot even see. Another cluster ring. This one's not that thick. Um, and this one is pretty cool. This one is also like the lapis stone, but this one actually is like a locket one and it actually opens. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, a couple of these have bars, the studio bars. Maybe I showed all of the ones. And here's another multi-stone turquoise and coral ring. That one's really cool. Um, we also have, oh gosh, I almost dropped it. This two-tone bracelet. Um, it kind of reminds me of like David Yerman because it's like the 925 and then it has like the gold. I don't think this is real gold, I could be wrong. And it also has black onyx. This bracelet is pretty small, it barely even fits me. Um, but that one just says 925, it doesn't have a brand um, or anything written on it. Here's another of the braided turquoise, like a teardrop or pear-shaped ring. And then I got this one that has all these, um, stones in there but one of the stones is missing so i'm probably just gonna keep that one i guess but this one yeah this one just says 925 and then let's see a couple more rings here 
So then there's this black onyx ring that has like a cool design. And then this other, I think it's like a Jasper ring. Yeah. So that's all the rings that I got from uh, that garage sale. And that was just, that was crazy because um, $3 each for turquoise, silver, and all those other types of stone rings. I hope that was really a great deal. Now, I also have from another garage sale or estate sale some jewelry, but this one's not real silver. It's this real cool vintage, I think it's Avon necklace. Not real silver or turquoise, but it's still pretty cool. All this jewelry is listed if anyone is interested. Then I got these vintage brass, or not brass, copper earrings. They're like a hoop earring. Um, let me see. And then I got these earrings. I don't know, let me see if I can take them out of the bag. From a garage sale or the estate sale. It's like a multi stone, like double hoop earring. Really pretty. Hopefully, it is focusing. Um, some of this jewelry, I can't remember how much I paid for at this garage sale um, or this estate sale. I mean, hopefully, I didn't show you all this in the last video. I don't think I did, but then I also got this ring. It's like a Victorian style type of ring. It's not real gold or real silver. I believe this one is Avon. Yeah, this one is Avon, but it's still really pretty. And I think I only paid a couple of dollars for this jewelry. And then I got these, which I just noticed is missing part of the beads on this side. And these are really cool, like concho earrings. Not real turquoise or real silver. These are, did I say Avon already? But they're still really pretty. Um, and then I got these. I forgot what brand these were, but these are not real silver either. But they're still so cool with the feather detail. Yeah, just a couple of dollars. I couldn't leave those behind. And then I got these, what are they like? Seashell or shell earrings, stud earrings. Thought those are really cool. These are just like costume jewelry too, but they're still pretty. And then I got these other ones that look similar, but I think these are butterfly wing earrings and these are really cool too. Those and then these hoop earrings. Um, let me see. These hoop earrings. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hopefully this is focusing. They're like a ro they have like a rose detail on there. And all of this is gonna be costume jewelry, I do believe, or at least that's how it was advertised at that um at that estate sale. Then I picked up these like vintage 80s earrings that have like this cool purpley blue inlay in there. These are, would be so huge on your ear as a stud, but yeah, I still picked them up because they're pretty cool. And then I got a couple of rings here. I don't think I showed you all these rings. I know I showed some of the jewelry the last time, but I don't think I showed you all these rings. So um, this one has an initial of YR, and I can't remember the brand, but this is just like a blue sapphire ring. It's not sterling silver, but it's still pretty for a couple of dollars. And I think this one is like a Sarah Coving, what is it, Sarah Coventry or Covington? Like a, I think it's like a tiger's eye, but it is like fading, so it's not real, but it's still, oops, still really pretty. 
and then this vintage Avon ring that is so pretty this emerald stone with the pearls so all this jewelry is listed and then we got this like I don't know what stone another sapphire stone with flowers still really pretty so all of that is from an estate sale and they were all like I think it was like a dollar for the earrings maybe like two or three dollars for the rings I can't remember but uh, still really pretty so from the thrift store I picked up this um, heart pendant and I don't think those are real stones in there but it does have some type of signature on the back I can't even really make out what that says I thought it said 925 it might but not sure and that one was like seven or eight dollars i think and then i got these earrings that are sterling silver um it does have like some initials or something on the inside this is gonna be so hard to show okay so look at it it's so pretty i don't know what the stone is maybe it's like crushed turquoise but yeah those are really pretty and then i got this oh those earrings i think were like three dollars this jade bracelet oh my gosh it's so heavy it's so pretty i wonder does it fit me oh it does it's really pretty and the that was three dollars and then these two wooden bracelets these bangle bracelets were four dollars i thought these were really cool 70s is coming back or I think it's been back for a while but anyway so that was all the jewelry that I got a ton of jewelry so hopefully it does pretty good now moving on to like the collective thrift haul um, I got a so I got this vintage Pyrex dish I I wonder I think this one's called the Cinderella print I can't remember but it's the top and it has like the split here. I saw some of the comps were like $80. Sorry, this is really loud. Some of the comps were like $80. I'm not sure if I want to keep this for myself or if I want to resell it. As you saw, I paid $5 for it. I do like the vintage Pyrex. I do collect some of it. Um, I'm not like a huge collector or anything i just really like using it for cooking but I, yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to sell this one or not and then from a the thrift store i went yesterday i saw this uh like metal keys and lock i took a picture my husband said he wanted it i don't know if he's actually going to use it or if i'm just going to resell it but it was three dollars four dollars still pretty cool maybe in the antique booth because it's really heavy if he doesn't actually use it and then I got this super ornate brass letter holder or maybe it could even be for napkins or well, I don't know what else you would use it for but this one was six dollars and some of the comps were like 80 to 100 dollars on this I thought that was pretty crazy it says made in Taiwan on the bottom so you know it's vintage it's like 10 pounds or something really heavy <laughs> then I picked up this I was going to use it for earrings or like taking or the necklaces and earrings and like taking pictures this is kind of crooked but I'm not sure if this is going to work and I don't even know if what it's actually for it's brass um, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna use that And then I got this metal reindeer. I'm not sure if it actually came with like the bowl or something to put in there, but I still picked it up because I wanted to get something for Christmas. I don't really buy a lot of, you know, Christmas decorations, but this one was only $3. But yeah, I picked up that deer, um, the reindeer, but I don't, like I was saying, I don't like to pick up a lot of seasonal items because I'm scared because I'm scared that they're not going to sell 
like in the season so I don't really pick up a lot of seasonal items but I thought I'd give that a shot to see how it does okay so moving on I still have it's probably gonna get a little loud I still have stuff in the bag wrapped up so I picked up I actually picked up two of these terracotta vases they were four dollars yeah, four dollars each i don't think they have a brand i do think they might be vintage um but i saw comps that they looked pretty good um these are pretty cute so i don't know maybe thirty dollars for the pair maybe um i picked up this really cool i picked up two of these actually it's super heavy like a pottery mug and they're actually quite large maybe like 10 ounces i don't know but yeah these are pretty cool i don't see any markings and i think these were like 77 cents each and i picked up two of those let's see yeah here's the other one there's just a matching pair um then i picked up this brass cowboy boot i thought this was pretty cute um it has the spur on the back even and this one was six dollars which is kind of pricey i i don't know i have a love-hate relationship with brass it sometimes sells good sometimes it doesn't but <clears throat> i don't know okay so here's the other uh base so it's like a, this one's taller this one's shorter and fatter and they were both four dollars Oh, yeah those would be really cute Let's see. I picked up this one candlestick it's like it looks like wood and this one was two dollars looks like wood but it's actually like a metal I can't remember what the material is called but yeah it looks like wood but it actually is super heavy and metal only one sadly but Still might sell pretty good. Okay, so the next item I bought were these Keen sandals. And these are, I think a size 11, and these were like $4. I know it's not the season for Keen, but they still might sell. They were pretty cute still. And then I got this pineapple, like a trinket tray. It's, I think this is real, it might be real silver, I don't know. It says made in uh, Japan, and it has a letter M on the back, so this is a vintage one. This one was $7, which is a little bit pricey, but I thought it was still cute. And for a pineapple trinket tray, okay. The next item I got was this brass sailboat which is super cool. This one was $4 and I don't see any markings on this. Um, but yeah, still pretty cute. Now the next items I got are here. This is like a collective thrift haul guys. I can't remember <laughs> exactly every thrift store that I went to to get it, but it, it was a couple of thrift stores. So um, I got these Vince Camuto loafers and they were actually kind of expensive, but these were $15, but they do look brand new. These are my size. I got them just because I wanted to try out the style, but I don't know. I don't know if they fit kind of tight, so I, I'm not sure if I do want to keep them or if I do like the style, but we'll see. Next item I got were these boots, these wedge suede booties, and these are Aquatalia. And Aquatalia does pretty good. These were $10, these were half off. Um, I think the last Aquatalia boots I sold were like $80. So I'm just going to go off my comps and I think they were actually similar to that. So I'll have to do some more research, but I think those are like a seven or seven and a half. So it's not super small. Then I found two pairs of these Everlane flats. These are like a bluish gray and they do look pretty good they don't look like they've been worn at all hardly 
I think these were like five dollars and they are my size so i might end up keeping one of these oh my gosh. the other pair are right here which are the tan and i yeah these are the ones that have like a little bit of damage right here but these are still pretty cute and i also found these tory birch wedge leather um shoes um, I, I've sold this um, type of Tory Burch. I don't think this exact uh, model, but I have sold these before and I think they were like anywhere between $40 to $50. So, and the prices on Tory Burch have, have gone down a little bit, but I think they're still sellable. And I think those were like five, between four to $6. So I got these brass butterflies in a lot and I actually don't have the price anymore but um, I actually was interested in these three so it's like a smaller one a bigger like small medium and large these are brass butterflies and they do say home interiors exclusively made for home interiors USA so I think these are vintage uh, but yeah I've sold I think I sold Angelfish similar to this and they sold really good. Um, so these are really cute to put up, you know, on the wall. But it, and it also came with these butterflies, these brass butterflies, which obviously are not part of it, but it's these. I don't know if I, I really like these as much I might still try to sell them and it has like this little squiggly thing right here which I don't know what that is even for maybe it's to hold pictures but I don't even see a way to hang these up so I don't know yeah I think all of these were in a bundle for like six dollars I think at the thrift store and then I got this huge vase or not vase or it could be a vase or pitcher uh, and it is Hager and this was four dollars this is it says Hager 2001 or 2004 I can't remember 2001 so I think these do sell pretty good I'm not sure though do I want to ship this or not um, when I say pretty good I think like forty dollars maybe so I will do comps again and find out Okay, so yeah, I also picked up two of these. These were like a dollar fifteen, and I thought they were like some type of abstract uh, pottery or ceramic. But it does have Jesus Christ on the back, like the names. So I'm not sure what even these symbols are. Then um, I just did a quick Google image search, and nothing came up. So these, I guess, would be good for. Christmas also maybe so I might go ahead and hurry up and get those listed um, yeah so I got two here's the other one um, so I'm not sure I'm, I don't even know if they're vintage but I'll have to do a little bit more research um, then I also got uh, some <laughs> silverware and I don't really I don't get silverware so I think these were, were these silver these are called community plates um community plate yeah that's it and it has like these are vintage and it has like this what is this like a floral detail they do have a lot of patina on them so i'm i'm not gonna clean them or i'm not going to take the patina off because some people do like the patina so I'll just sell them as is. Um, and here's a fork. Um, these were, were these these were seven dollars. And they have there's forks, spoons, and knives in here. Um, looks like it might be a full set. Um, I don't know. These were seven dollars, but the prices, the comps were kind of crazy. They were like $200, $100, um, 
you know, like $20 for one fork. So I'll have to do a little bit more research. I don't pick up silverware, so I'm not exactly sure if those, if that's a good brand, but just doing quick comps when I was at the thrift store, it seemed to be pretty good. So I'll go ahead and, you know, sell those. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they do sell for pretty good. Um, oh gosh. So I got these, these were $9. This is kind of expensive, right? These are made by Anthropology, uh, which is, I think these are newer because it says by Anthropology. And these are like a legging, um, like a plaid pant with like this stripe going down the side. Um, really cute. I don't know why did I pay $9 for these? Because anthropology doesn't really do that good for me anymore but oh well um then i also got these pilcro and the le leather blah, blah, blah. pilcro and the letter press by anthropology and these are also like the newer label i do believe but these were new with tags or partial tag i guess here's the tag so it's a high rise boot cut which is pretty um, which is in style actually and these are a size 30 the other ones were an extra small and these were also nine dollars and these are white super cute i think these are these are my size so i might end up keeping these and it has these buttons right here i don't really wear white pants but these are so cute i don't know I'll have to run comps and see, but I think those might do good. Then I also got these by Anthropology size small um, shorts. They have this cool print on the bottom. They're frayed. Um, someone donated like all of their Anthropology stuff up there. These are a small. These are size four might be good might not but we'll see so i got these cool looking pants they're cabby size four these were seven dollars and these are like a vertical striped wide leg pants which wide leg is in very in style but i'm just looking at these right now and let me see they have like I don't know if they're missing like something, but at the bottom, they have these loops right here. And it looks like it's supposed to have a belt that goes there. But So I don't know what that's for, but I'll have to Google search them. But these are really cute. Um, these might sell well. Sometimes cabbie is hit or miss, it just depends. Um, so I'll do research on that. And then at the same thrift store, I got these vintage exhilaration um, patchwork mules. Look at these. These are what Y2K, um, late 90s. They it does have some scuffing right here on the side. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They literally look brand new, like they've never been worn. These are a size nine, and these were seven dollars. And these are so cute. Oh my gosh. They remind me of Bratz, <laughs> like the Bratz dolls, or I don't know. And they're like a, I don't know, like a square toed or is rounded, but these are so cute. These will do really good. Maybe like $50, but I'll have to do some more comps to find out. Um, from that same thrift store, I got these candlesticks. Three, I think these are three different sizes. They're really cool. I think they were made, what were these? Made in India, yeah. Brass candlesticks, pretty cool. I don't think I have a price on these, no. I think they were like three or four dollars. These were really cute. And then from the same thrift store, I got these vintage Rampage um, mules also. But these are like faux snake skin. It's almost like a, cowboy boot mule these are square toed and these were also seven dollars and these look like they've been worn a few times and these are vintage because it says um made in brazil and these are leather i'm not sure if rampage still makes leather but i do know i don't think they make in um brazil anymore 
so when the companies clothing companies they used to make in brazil that means you know that it's like a vintage one <laughs> So I hope these do good. I also, if y'all remember, I hauled another pair that looked similar to these. I can't remember the name, but they were like a denim one. And I don't think I've gotten very many likes on these. Hopefully because these are Rampage, they might do better. I don't know, we'll see. Then I got these um, wooden like Mexican tile. What would these be called? risers or like hot plates so these well actually this one is made in spain and this one is made in mexico on the back it says but it's wooden and it has this cool tile piece in the middle um these are really cute i don't know do i want to keep these for myself or sell them i don't know how well they do actually but hopefully they do pretty good and then same thrift store guys i got this is it this the same thrift store i think so this little copper um copper uh, creamer creamer thing i don't know um really cute i wish there was like another sugar bowl or something else to go with it this one does have some wear right here. Hopefully the glare is not too bad, but it is vintage. It was 99 cents. Um, I don't know, maybe this was at a garage sale and no one bought it, but yeah, this is really cute. Hopefully I can find some more copper mugs or something to go along with that, but if not, I'll try selling it by itself. And then I got this, especially for you, made in Korea, rainbow air balloon mug super cute um I, can't, I don't even know how much i paid for this it doesn't have a price but i think the comps were like 15 to 25 dollars maybe and then i got these um like joggers what are these these are probably anthropology too yeah so these are saturday sunday by anthropology again like a newer tag because it says by anthropology i think these are size small yeah size small it's like okay and then at the at another garage sale i ended up getting this purse i think this is the only purse that i got but it's like a leather trim and like this actually feels like wool um kind of reminds me of pendleton but this has a cool southwestern aztec 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 uh design on it and the brand just says oh, this is hard to read to effie pele made in italy genuine leather trim i don't know y'all can see that i'll have to do some more research and figure it out but it has like a leather I don't know if this is leather but it feels like a like a like a leather inside and this was only two dollars like a drawstring bag pretty cute and i have a couple more things to show y'all but i have to take y'all take the camera and show y'all so let's go hopefully it's not too dark but um yeah so i got this um like African tribal wall hanging. Um, this one was seven dollars. I got two of these, so I'm thinking about putting them in the antique booth. Hopefully, they do good. And look at my huge mess over here, guys. Uh, from the from the hall. Anyway, it's not too dark. And then I got this. Um. This is just like an Ikea tiered table. Uh, I was thinking about putting this in the antique booth and like putting my stuff on here. I think I got, this one was like $10. And then, let's see. <sighs> Guys, my second living room is like super packed. Excuse the mess. So I got this red metal tiered cart. Facebook Marketplace, super, cool kind of you know distress um this one was ten dollars too yeah ten dollars 
And I was also thinking about putting this in the antique booth and selling it. One of the wheels comes off, but um, this one should do pretty good. I think, yeah, that, that metal cart um, I'm thinking should do pretty good um, because those typically sell, well, at least in my area, I see them sell very fast for like, 80 to 150 dollars eh, and maybe not 150 but like 80 to 100 ish dollars and they sell fairly quickly if they're like under 50 so um i reply like i saw that one it had just been posted i think and i had messaged her and she was like yeah i have like hundreds of people that are interested do you really want it i was like yeah um but i can't pick it up today she was like okay well if it's still available tomorrow morning the next morning you can come get it so i messaged her and she was like yes it's still available so i went to go get it um i was really happy i don't have anywhere in my home to put it to decorate with but um, I thought it was pretty cool nonetheless and I have a few other pieces in the kitchen so I'm gonna take you all over there in the, so I'm in the kitchen hopefully it's not too yellow but I found this huge lot of this vintage um, hand-painted plates so and dishes so these are Victoria and Richard, which is Mackenzie Childs, if y'all can see that. Um, this plate says $12.99, which actually is really expensive, right, for one plate. But this is hand-painted, hand-painted, and it's like a fluted plate. Um, and then I got one of those, because there was only one, and then I got these and this so i got five of these coffee mugs and they're so cute look at the design on these and these all say from 19 i can't really see does that say 1995 or 1993 i don't know but either way they're um vintage and yeah some of these these mugs are the only ones that i see signs of use i might i'm gonna see if i can clean that out i don't know if that scratches or if it's just dirt but look at all of these different designs they're so pretty when i saw these i wasn't in the thrift store i wasn't going to even actually look them up and run comps but then i was like okay there's a lot of them here let me see exactly what they are so i saw that it has like a terracotta or like a pottery bottom like this and so i was like okay it has a name on here but i didn't really see the name and so i just google image searched it and uh yeah the pieces are like collectible like a lot of these people a lot of people like to collect this stuff and um i saw a set of plates like similar i think they were like the dinner plates i don't know how many it was but they were selling for they sold for like seven hundred dollars i couldn't i couldn't believe it but yeah all of these are like different designs hand painted this is just a i don't know a dessert plate a salad plate this is like obviously smaller compared to like these plates over here and they were actually really expensive at the thrift store these were five dollars each um let's see i still can't read what year that is but yeah and there's that one and i think do these match the cups no they don't have the same pattern as the cups but yeah look at these different designs sorry if it's too loud they're so pretty they remind me of like alice in wonderland or something and i've never heard of this of this brand So there's five cups, one of this big plate. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And six of these. And then there's this one, which I don't know. Is this some type of butter dish? Or maybe like a serving dish? Um, but I actually think these big plates. I actually think these big plates match. Um, 
these plates like with similar design but yeah here's the bigger plates oh yeah look so these do match the design um, they literally look honestly like a, a child would paint these like my daughter watercolored these or something but yeah those plates and those cups those were a good find i just need to research a little bit more because certain patterns seem to do better than others but i think those should do fairly good i saw a lot of the black and white ones selling for like 30 40 bucks but since these are all colorful and there's like a set of the larger plates, a set of the smaller plates, and then the mugs. I'm not exactly sure if I wanna break them up and sell plate by plate, or if I wanna sell the large plates all together and the small plates all together, because I'm kind of nervous shipping six plates together because I don't want them to break in transit. So I'm kind of nervous about that. So I don't know um, how I want to ship them. But yeah, those were a great find um, and they ended up giving them to me at the thrift store for $20 for everything. Even though they had those individually priced, you know, the bigger plates were like $8, the smaller ones were $5. The cups didn't have a price, but yeah, those were really expensive considering that the other plates at the thrift store, they mark them like 77 cents each or like a dollar each or something. So I was really shocked when I saw the price, but the manager came over and said he can do all for 20. So I was super, super happy. Um, I don't know if I want to keep them or if I'm going to sell them because they really are so cute. They remind me of Alice in Wonderland, like I said. But um, yeah, so that is my haul. It was a huge haul just like last time. And um, I might do another video. Um, well, actually, I already recorded myself taking pictures of some of these items, but it was like super overcast and raining. And my, um, my light on the camera needed to be charged so I didn't have that so it's like it was like super dark um, when I was doing it so I don't know how I'm going to actually upload that or um, or maybe I should just upload it and anyway and then take pictures of these items and then put it all in one video like a work day with me so just let me know in the comments if y'all are interested in that and to let me know what y'all liked in this haul what was your favorite item that I thrifted in this haul I don't know between those dishes and the rings that I thrifted I think the rings might be my favorite even though i don't think they're going to get that much money after looking up comps i did price them on the higher end just because i wanted to keep them for myself but um yeah just let me know if y'all enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up uh comment down below and i guess i'll see you on the next video bye guys